best life advice you could give to a college student? Best life advice I could give a college student. Um, all right, when I was still competing, my best squat was 940, I believe. And when I did that, I was at Westside. And at that time, that was the second or third highest squat ever at Westside. And with the exception of Matt Dimmel, who died like one or two years before, I was the only one, I believe at the time, maybe Tom Waddle, that had done it or was going to attempt it more or less. And at the meet that I did it, um, I remember being in the warm up room and you know visualization's always been a big part and mental preparation and i mean i did this thousands of times in my head beforehand and you know it's it's keep in mind at the time there were only still a handful of people that were squatting over a grand actively you know some were no longer in the sport but louis was paying everybody a thousand dollars that could squat a thousand so now he he won't do that you know he, <laughs> he doesn't do that shit anymore because it's you know everybody should basically squat a thousand according to him and um you know so i remember sitting in the back and mentally i never had a hard time getting to my zippy place or whatever people want to call it but i remember talking to louis beforehand and I had a hard time setting shit up because my hips were, were more fucked back then when they, well, I thought they were. So it was a shake fest most of the time. And Louis told me that, you know, it's 900 pounds. I'm like, okay, I get that. You know, I'm, I'm not a fucking idiot. You know, it's, and we competed in usually the same meets. He says, no, I need you to fucking listen to me and pay attention. And I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. So... I listened to him, and he said, it's 900 fucking pounds. I'm like, I, I, I understand that. I'm ready for it. It's not a big deal. He says, no, listen to me again. It's going to fucking be heavy on your back. When you stand up with it, it's going to feel heavy as fuck. It's going to feel heavier than anything you've ever done before. And I said, jokingly, I said, well, it is heavier than anything I've done before and even heavier because we weren't doing circumax stuff back then mm -hmm. it's and I never I don't believe I squatted anything over 750 in the gym before that you know at that time this is the way that we trained and he said you he said just all I want you to understand is you're going to stand up with it it's going to be heavy it's going to feel heavy it's going to feel heavy as fuck but it doesn't mean you can't do it all right and I'm like okay I get this, kind of. So I go through and I get ready and, you know, get to the bar, get under the bar. You know, I'm in my state, you know, where you don't kind of know you're in your void state. And I stood up and I came out of my void state real fucking quick because it was fucking heavy. Reality hook. And I'm like, oh, fuck. This is fucking heavy. And, you know, my shaking starts. And I remembered him saying you know, it's heavy, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. So I, it actually came back into my head. You know, so I cracked my knees and sat back and stood up in a half second. And it was easy as fuck. Rack it in there. It was like, holy fuck, you know, you could have squatted 980. And, you know, that shit goes super easy. It was one of those lifts where every, you go in the bathroom to take your shit off, take a piss, and you're in the bathroom and people are like, dude, that was fucking ridiculous. It was it was a piss lift, man. It was, it was you know, people, you, only some people are going to know what I'm talking about, but you know what I'm talking about. You got to get your gear off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, breathe, I mean, yeah, right? I mean, people, yeah, people are telling you, holy fuck, dude, and you don't even know who they are. You're like, wow, that must have really been easy, you know? And so my, my advice would be, you know, when it comes to life, and I've had a lot of adversity, more so than some, but not as much as others. Um, life can, it, it can, it's, it's fucking heavy. You know, it's, there's, there's times that are really fucking heavy, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. So no matter what you do, what you pursue, or what avenue that you try to go down, don't ever expect the road to be easy. Don't ever expect the road to be simple. Don't ever expect it to be light. 
it's going to be heavy, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. Mm -hmm. If you remember that, then you'll be able to get through the adversity. You'll be able to get through the storms. You'll be able to come out on the other side. If you expect that it's always going to be easy, you're, you're going to be in for a real rough ride and you're going to be getting three red lights. You're going to be missing a lot of lifts and you're going to be getting hurt a lot. Yeah. You know, so understand it's going to be heavy, get tight and enjoy the fucking ride. Cause if you do that, that's where you're going to find the happiness.